Hello, my name is Matthew Hankinson, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Zoom's interactive online whiteboard. So Zoom is the web conferencing program that we use here at St. Vincent College. It is also a great way to web conference and chat with other individuals from all sorts of different locations. It's also available from computers, mobile devices, and tablets. So it's pretty much available anywhere that has the internet. So one thing that I'm going to show you again is how to use its interactive online whiteboard, which is a great tool to be able to collaborate and learn together. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up a web browser. And then we're going to go to zoom.us. Once there, we're going to go to the top toolbar and click on sign in. Here, we're going to enter our information and click on the blue sign-in button below. Once you're in Zoom's main page, we're going to go up to the top and click on host a meeting. Here you can do it with a video on, a video off, or just screen share. I always like to do the video on because it adds a little bit more of a personal feeling. Next we're going to click on open the Zoom meeting in the pop-up box. From here, we'll click on Join Audio and Computer. This will open up your webcam and microphone option on your computer, so people can hear you and see you. Next, we're going to click on Invite Participants, that way we can join and collaborate with each other. Here we can just click on Copy Invitation down at the bottom, and then email by copy and pasting this information inside the message and sending it to whoever we want to join and collaborate with. That is the sound of our participant joining. So now I have a partner I'm working with. I'm working with Amanda on a project, and together we're going to work on something within the interactive whiteboard. So how to access the whiteboard. So once we move our cursor here, you'll see there's a little toolbar down the bottom. We're going to select on the green share button. From here we have all sorts of things that we can share, but in the top we're going to select whiteboard, and then hit the blue share button in the bottom corner. Now you have it, our whiteboard has opened, and we can do all sorts of great collaborative things together. From here, we're going to add things like text. I'm going to add something like, welcome. Say if I don't like the welcome, I can change its color and size. All I have to do is go to this toolbar here, go to format, and say if I want to make it blue, I'm going to select blue. There we go, and then I can go down here, and I can also bold, or unbold. I can also change the size of my font. Say if I think it's a little too small, let's make it bigger. There we go. There we have it, that's how you would add text. The next thing we're going to do is draw. So if you go to the draw button, there's all sorts of great things that you can add here. You can add arrows, you can draw arrows, you can draw squares and boxes, you can draw circles, or you can draw just regular lines and just freestyle. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna select this button. Say if I wanna make a different color, I'll go to format. Uh, I wanna do a bright green. So I'm just going to underline the welcome here. And there you have it. So just wanted to draw something under that. And that's how you would use the draw option. We also have stamps that we can add. Say if you guys are working on ideas and then you're a bigger classroom or a bigger like web conference, something like that, um, we can add arrows to this. And if you want to point out certain ideas, you can add a check mark. If you think certain ideas are great or someone got an idea right, uh, red X if someone got an idea wrong, a gold star if you think someone did an excellent job, Hard if you think, hey, this was a fantastic idea and you love it. And then also a question mark, if, say, if you're a little confused about the idea. 
So right next to the stamp option, we have the spotlight. So what spotlighting does is once you select on the spotlight, gives a little red cursor here, and it lets whoever the host is kind of point out where their cursor is so they can kind of point through ideas and kind of work through things together. Right next to that, you also have the eraser option. Say if, if you want to have too much clutter on there, or some ideas aren't right, all you do is select the eraser option in the toolbar, then go to whatever it is you want to erase, and then you just click on it, and there you have it, it'll disappear. You can also say, oh no, that was a little too much, I wanted to leave the welcome on there. So right next to the format button, you just select undo, and there you have it, welcome comes back. You can also redo, say if you want it to disappear, but again, I want to leave it on for these purposes. If you would like to clear your whole whiteboard, you would just go to the very second to the very end, and it's labeled by a trash can. It also says clear under that. It'll clear all drawings, it'll clear everything just you drew, or it'll clear everything that whoever you're collaborating on with has added to your whiteboard. So like I said, this is a great way for people to collaborate together. So where does the collaboration begin? It seems like just the host is doing a whole bunch of adding things and not the person that you're working on it together with. So what we're going to do from here is go to the top. When you kind of hover the top, a toolbar will kind of pop down there. We're going to go down here to where it says more, which is labeled by three dots. And you can add or you can disable or able participants to be able to join and annotate with this whiteboard. You can also make sure that you are adding names or you can hide or show the names of the annotators that way you can make sure whoever's collaborating with. Uh, today I'm working with Amanda so every all of her ideas will be labeled with her name. So just to show you an idea that someone else can collaborate with this, I'm going to select this so you just see my cursor and then Amanda is going to do some things on her end. Let's say if she wants to add text, she can say, hello, hello. And there you have it. You can see that, every, that what Amanda has done is labeled with her name, and things that I have done is labeled by my name. Again, that lets you kind of show who is collaborating within the project, and it also distinguishes the difference between whose ideas are what. Say so if you think these are some great ideas, what you can do at the very end is hit click on the save button. The save button will save all the work that you have done so far. So what I'm going to do right now is click on the eraser, I'm going to erase Amanda stuff, erase this, and I'm going to show you how to make and create pages within your interactive whiteboard. So say if you would like to do something with this one, you want to add a chart. a chart on this screen, we're going to do a t-graph on that one, and you want to add a second page, because the first page we're going to do a t-chart, the second page we're going to do something else. You're going to go down here to the bottom option, which looks like a kind of a square shape with a plus sign. I click on that, and then you have it, you can see it's page two. And say we're going to draw something on this one, we want a red t-shape here. So we'll click on format, click on the red button. Let's help you to label things. So we're gonna do let's say good on this side, bad on that side. I'm gonna select and kind of move it. All you have to do is hit the select button, and you can move your things here so you can balance them out. And say if you want to do something like good and bad study habits for within education, um, there you have it. You have a graph on page two. You can also go back here and go to page one, and you have the same thing. So there you have it, you have multiple pages. And again, if you'd like to save, you just go up here to the save option, and your whiteboard has been shaped. You can also see the folder which you have saved it in. Say if you are done collaborating now, and you are finished, all you have to do is go up to the stop share option. We're gonna click on that. There you have stopped sharing your whiteboard. And then we'll just say if you're done with the whole meeting altogether and you will meet Amanda at a later date, all you have to do is click down the bottom, end meeting, and then there you have it. You're finished with your meeting in Zoom and you have saved all your information to work on a later date through, say, maybe another Zoom meeting. And there you have it. That is how you use Zoom's interactive whiteboard.